Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and yesterday was a huge day for Overwatch. Whenever an event gets announced, it's like the second biggest event that could ever happen, right next to like a hero getting announced. Uh, but yesterday, if you guys haven't heard, uh, Jeff Kaplan went out during halftime on the Overwatch League, announced Retribution, the game mode, and the whole nine, just everything besides like a new hero, of course, and everybody went crazy, and especially me. I was, I'm so hyped for Retribution. I don't know why, because it's really not going to be any different from any other event, other than just finding out more about the Overwatch story because this is one thing that it's just lacking so much is that story driven element that people appreciate people really do like but they don't get to experience it and this is probably going to be one of the first times we ever get to however in today's video I did want to talk about retribution and possibly more game modes because if you guys remember I don't really know who said this but they said throughout the whole entire week leading up to the actual event they're going to be releasing stuff related to the event and well today was kind of like no more like yesterday Yesterday was the first big day with the release of the comic and where we saw Blackwatch Moira. And then today, obviously, is the cream of the crop and where we got to see Retribution. However, a lot of people, and I even mentioned this yesterday, a lot of people are kind of missing this little information bit that was played at the very end of the Retribution trailer where Jack Morrison asked McCree, so what do you have to add? And I'll play the clip right here just in case you guys forgot. What about you? Anything to add? Where do you want me to start? You can kind of get a vibe that Jack Morrison, Soldier 76, is kind of not happy with Blackwatch with whatever they did. We don't know because we're probably going to find out. And kind of like interviewing them. And obviously asked Reaper his side of the story and what happened. And obviously his side, I'm using air quotations, is the game that we're going to be playing. But then at the very end, clearly he asked McCree. And then McCree did say, well, where do you want me to start? And he sounds so sexy. Oh, my God. But clearly, like, it's not just like an additional thing. Like, oh, yeah, we also got milkshakes after. No, it's not going to be something like that so that's why I have like the high hopes and high expectations that retribution and what we saw yesterday is not going to be the only thing that we're going to be playing throughout to this whole entire event because remember this is kind of like a campaign more or less like the uprising mission and this new retribution mission it's all sort of like a campaign and I feel like a lot of people kind of forgot that campaigns are a big part of video games especially in, like the halo series where like a lot of people get halo to play the the campaign or at least the first original I know I love the third one so a lot of people forget that they're allowed to make multiple missions and just make multiple stories well my theory behind it is that they that Jack Morrison obviously maybe has all of them tied up because they did something illegal they did a naughty naughty and now he's asking them okay what's going on what did you do he asked Reaper he's gonna ask McCree and maybe McCree is gonna be able to tell his story and then whatever his story is we're gonna be able to play it now my idea of what his story actually is is gonna be how he joined Blackwatch and actually like his archive story because this is the archive event or retribution event. This is past stuff that happened and well we all know that McCree got two options when he got in trouble with his motorcycle gang. If it was a gang, a motorcycle gang at all. It was to either join Blackwatch or go to jail for a very long time. So I'm gonna guess we're gonna see McCree's side of the story and how he actually got in trouble and then join Blackwatch or just find out some sort of story. And then continuing that exact same trend because there's so much potential as terms of a game mode for all of these heroes because we look at Genji now the only thing that I can think of as terms of Genji is just his his side of the story with like Hanzo whatnot or just something like that taking place on like Hanamura whereas McCree was on like Route 66 and whatnot and we did get like a little hint that hey a new Shimada brother is going to be getting a new uprising or retribution skin and maybe Hanzo has something to do with the, like the Genji side of the story and then we're going to be able to have a playable campaign mission with Genji. I don't know if it'd just be with him or it'd be with all the heroes. And then same thing with Mora. Find out her story, how she kind of just got mutated and became this hero. The reason why I'm just going all over the place and kind of not staying on track is because there's so much wild imagination that could take place with these campaign missions that I feel like the Overwatch team is going to be able to capitalize on that and deliver that. It would be a lot to deliver four different campaign missions, but they've had two Two years okay they had two years to deliver a campaign they've only delivered one and a half if you can't Junkenstein's Revenge and now it's their opportunity to actually tell the story of Blackwatch tell the story of Talon and those are just a few ideas and theories that I feel like the Blizzard team is smart enough to realize hey this is what the fans want so let's give them what they want because we hear of these little stories like even in the game lobby whenever McCree's on Route 66 he's like oh it doesn't feel rock coming back here that, that was a terrible impression but if he I'm pretty sure he does say that on Route 66 
1986, but you don't know why he says that. Like, you know he probably got in trouble, but what's the archive story? Like, what's the hidden story that we need to find out about? Well, maybe we can hear it in his flashback. Just think of it sort of like the Black Ops 1 campaign when they're asked Mason about the numbers and they're having flashbacks. Well, they go back to Vietnam, they go back to the Cold War era when he's, like, in these, like, campaign missions. It's the exact same thing that's going on with this. Jack Morrison probably has them all tied up just like Mason, and he's asking them, all right, what's going on? What did you do? Start from the beginning. And those are just my ideas because this is going to be awesome. I cannot wait just to see what's going to be going on, but let me know what you want to see. Do you not want to see the story behind McCree, Mora, and Genji? Do you just want to have the single campaign mission with, like, Reaper on Italy and whatnot with the whole Blackwatch team? Just let me know. Oh, and also, I saw a comment yesterday saying that, like, the sniper and the Talon organization, there was, like, a little clip that that could be a Widowmaker skin. Wouldn't be too far-fetched of an idea because Orisa did get an OR-15 skin, but the OR-15s kind of look like Orisa, but aren't Orisa. Same thing here, so... I just wanted to throw that in there. Has nothing to do with this video. I just thought that would be a cool skin idea. So maybe we'll have four confirmed skins if that actually is a Widowmaker skin. So, <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you want to see from the Retribution mission because this event is going to be awesome. I cannot wait. Hopefully you're excited because I just love me a good story. So, love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. And bye.